Gregory Stanton, the founder and director of Genocide Watch, said that India is preparing for genocidal massacres of 200 million Muslims. There were early signs and processes of genocide in the Indian state of Assam and Indian-occupied Kashmir. A genocide of Muslims in India could be about to take place. Among the policies, Stanton cited were the revocation, the special autonomous status of Indian occupied Kashmir in 2019. Muslim property has been confiscated or destroyed and Muslims have been displaced into enclaves. He feared a similar scenario to Myanmar, where the Rohingya were first legally declared non-citizens and then expelled through violence and genocide. Stanton said, the Hindutva ideology was contrary to the history of India and the Indian constitution and referred to Modi as an extremist who has taken over the government. We are warning that genocide could very well happen in India. Stanton said, speaking on behalf of the non-governmental organization he launched in 1999 to predict, prevent, stop and seek accountability for the crime. Stanton said genocide was not an event but a process and drew parallels between the policies pursued by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the discriminatory policies of Myanmar's government against Rohingya Muslims in 2017. He said that persecution of Muslims in Assam and Indian-occupied Kashmir was a harbinger to their massacre. Stanton said that the demolition of the Babri Masjid and the construction of a temple on top of it are links of the same chain. Violence against Muslims further aggravates their socio-economic conditions, constant fear and insecurity. He warned the international community and stakeholders that the BJP has already played a role in instigating violent and genocidal violence in the past especially during the anti-Muslim riots in Gujarat in 2002. This blatant dehumanization of Muslims should be stopped immediately.